एम आई सी एस और मिक्स एज इट इज कॉमनली नोन एस इज मिनिमली इन्वेजिव कार्डियक सर्जरी आई थिंक इट गॉड्स इंस्पायर्ड एज मिक्स फ्रॉम मिकी मिकी इज अ स्मॉल माउस सो नॉर्मली वेन वी डू द नॉर्मल कार्डियक सर्जरी वी डू इट थ्रू अ बिग इंसीशन थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द चेस्ट सो द नॉर्मल कट दैट वी पुट इन द चेस्ट इज अबाउट एट इंचज टू वन फुट लॉन्ग in mix we put a very small incision uh, only 5 cm that is in your single angle de cuck and through that small incision we can do all the operation so and it's very good for the patient there are a lot of advantages uh, first of all when you do a normal cabg the incision is very long and there are uh, sometime it takes a very long time to heal so this is a very small incision and especially in the ladies the uh, cut gets hidden and after the surgery nobody will notice that the surgery was done so there is excellent cosmesis and second the healing is very fast and uh, patients can go back to work very soon and uh, chances of infection are almost negligible there are almost no infection rate and uh, the respiratory complications and other complication rates are very low especially like uh, if you want to go back to work very soon this is the ideal surgery to do it depends on the experience of the surgeon normally if there are 3 to 4 uh, bypass grafts that we have to do generally it takes about 4 hours this is actually a blessing for the diabetic patients because when we do the normal bypass surgery we have to go through the center of the chest and some and in diabetics the healing is very poor sometimes they can get infection in this uh, through the mix we do not cut any bone we just have to cut skin and muscle and the healing is very fast yeah we have done lot of smokers and asthmatics using this procedure but since uh, in this procedure we have to work only on one lung we we have to make sure uh, that they can tolerate the surgery so we do certain tests before surgery to make sure whether they are suitable for it or not yes uh, i would say about uh, 70 to 80% of such patients are suitable for this kind of surgery actually this is a very relative uh, term because it depends on again on our experience at our current level of experience if somebody has very bad heart disease the vessels are very bad or somebody's heart function is very poor in emergency situations if somebody has a peripheral vascular disease in which we cannot go on i mean in the if the arteries of the lower limbs the legs are also diseased we generally avoid and uh, the oldest patient uh, i have done using this is 78 years old so i i might say that above 80 we have not tried but maybe next time we can do it that's the main thing the recovery is very fast like after the bypass uh, we generally send the patient home after 6 days uh, when we do it the normal way they generally take a month to 6 weeks to recover and uh, to go back to the normal life after doing uh, surgery through mix even after 2 days lot of my patients say whether they can go back to work but we advise them not to go back to work for a week so but after a week they can do anything they can go for a swim they can drive they can do their normal work lift weights whatever there are no healing problems at all